I'm Bryce Wild, alternative healthcare clinician and medical advisor on the Dr. Oz Show. I'm an avid runner, but the constant pounding that I'm giving my joints can eventually take its toll. And for all you weekend warriors out there, I can tell you that what may start out as a minor ache will eventually turn into something much more serious as you push your body's limits. And even if you're not a weekend warrior, there are things that you can do to ease the stress on your body and joints, no matter what your level of activity. Quick tip, always remember to warm up and make sure your muscles and joints are ready for the challenge ahead. And when you're done exercising, cool down effectively and don't forget to stretch. Your joints are areas in the body where two or more bones meet. And most joints are mobile, allowing your bones to move, of course. Bones that end with cartilage, they're also separated by something called synovial fluid, which cushions the bones during contact, and it works to reduce friction. Cartilage is really interesting. It's very different than any other tissue in the body, like muscle or skin. Cartilage has a reduced blood flow and minimal circulation. Nutrients move through your joints and their tiny blood vessels much more slowly than other tissues. And this is the number one reason that joint cartilage is so quick to injure and so slow to heal. Furthermore, when the right nutrients aren't available to repair them, arthritis can strike. The reality is joints have a low capacity to repair and even minor injuries may lead to progressive damage and osteoarthritis joint degeneration, resulting in significant pain and even disability. Estimates suggest that about 10% of men and 18% of women over the age of 60 have some form of osteoarthritis, and a quarter of those people will be so severely affected that they can't even perform their daily activities. Arthritis is the leading cause of disability in people over the age of 55. The most common form of arthritis is known as osteoarthritis, and it's degenerative joint disease, and it occurs following trauma to the joint or following an infection of joint or simply, unfortunately, as a result of aging. If you've been paying attention, you must have heard me suggest that when we have the right nutrients available, our joints are healthier. 